everybody, Water Boys. We're here at Stereo West today, and we're going to take a look at the War Horse. Uh, we're, we've been very privileged to be sponsored by Stereo West, and uh, we're really looking forward to 2012 season because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff uh, with the War Horse. So if you come down to Mad Cow to play paintball, hopefully you'll see us there. Uh, come over, say hello, and uh, you'll hear some beats. This is Joe Jacket Styles. He is uh, an employee at Stereo West, but also a Muddy Water Boy. Uh, so, Joe, tell us a little bit about the War Horse. Um, the War Horse is actually built to do the very opposite of what you would think a normally show vehicle would be. It has the same amount of cost in it, same amount of design time, same amount of fabrication. However, it's built, like I said, to do the very opposite. So, as you see this, it's not a perfect, you know, pimped out. $500,000 Mercedes, absolute perfect paint, stuff like that. It's meant to be beaten, battered, and worn. Um, all the rust and stuff that you'll see on the vehicle, that is all airbrushed and textured on there. This is actually a brand new vehicle, has less miles than the Mustang I picked up a year and a half ago. Um, as we open this up, it was also built to showcase Kicker's most efficient design amplifier for the audio genre. And each one of these amplifiers on the back wall actually handle 10,000 watts RMS of real hardcore power. It's extremely loud and it's an amazing thing to listen to. start especially with something like this is basically a concert on wheels so you're gonna have 20,000 watts of continuous power I give you an idea the Henry Dorley Zoo has that same generator to run the entire zoo so it's a little crazy <laughs> however you gotta have the power source to charge those amplifiers and what you'll have in here if you take a look is you'll have 16 kinetic 2400 amp power supply batteries they're dry cell um, it takes four generators to power these overnight. Um, you really got to think about where you're going with this concert on wheels. But um, there's about 30,000 amps of current, so it's just a lot, tremendous amount of design in this vehicle. It's like, what's a, what's a normal car battery? A normal car battery, you're looking around 650 amps for like a Honda Civic. And this, one of these batteries is equivalent of probably around four of those and then times 16 and then times 16 of course <laughs> okay. um, a good aspect also to think about is your house how much power do you use in your house this is probably 10 times if not more power than what we produce in our own actual home so to have this stereo in your house your electric bill would be extremely high <laughs> And then uh, for the woofers, what, like, you said these are the, what, like, second loudest? Um, or, yes. Tell us about those. These are Kicker's second um, loudest woofers that they build and design. There's 12 15s in here, so you'll definitely be able to feel the sound stage as well as hear it. Um, in the doors, if you take a look at the doors on the vehicle, uh, you can see that we have QS component six and a half with a mid bass driver. Those are each individual door is getting about 650 watts of power. So that way, when you really crank on it, you can really hear it. It's all about nice, clean, loud, crisp power. And that's what we're bringing to you at our events. Sweet. Oh, and then what's in the back right now? You got Yeah, just go ahead. You, you get yeah. All, right. All right, in the back of this, in the future, when we start taking it to fields and stuff like that for kids at the field, whenever you want to take a break, we'll have a 42-inch TV on the inside of this. As well, as you can see, 
your speakers follow all the way through the van. So not only are they on the side of the vehicle, but they're also on the back. So everybody in the entire area can hear what's going on. And you can see, once again, you got more speakers. Can't have too many speakers in a vehicle like this. Um, this is where our charging supply comes off the wall. Um, there's four 120 plugs that plug onto the other side of these chargers and each one of these charge overnight for an entire eight hours so we can use it at one event. And then these draw anywhere from 20 to a 40 amp breaker in the wall. So you really need a lot of power to charge it, but it lasts a very long time. Wheat. And you got the camera in the back for backing up. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of works. And now the, the batteries themselves aren't uh, connected to the van batteries, right? No, that's a, that is a very good thing, a very good question. Um, <clears throat> because it takes so much power and so much to charge these batteries and stuff like that, we can't possibly have it hooked to the van battery charging system it's, itself because you'll end up burning up the vehicle. Um, so it's completely separate. There, it doesn't hook to the motor whatsoever. So you could take this van to an event and at, for any reason whatsoever, if you have a problem with anything, it's okay. Because you just turn it off, you start the vehicle, and you drive away. You can practically never go dead or never get stranded anywhere. Right on. Well, Joe, Jacket Styles, thank you very much for the uh, tour of the War Horse. And we're going to be seeing yeah. a lot of this. Got to get to those so. events to check it out. It's a lot better in person than it is on video. Yeah. 